All right, good morning. Uh, my name is Pratap Devkota. I'm the extension wood scientist with University of Florida at IFES, uh, and I'm located here at J Research Center. So today I'm going to talk about and, and show some of the plots uh, uh, for our herbicide treatments where we are looking at season long weed control with the, some post herbicide, but importantly, some pre herbicide, including group, group 15 herbicide which uh, in that group we have dual magnum, outlook, uh, uh, GDUA and so on. So again, I'll walk, I'll provide some of the information, what we saw with those treatment and also we'll walk you through the plot. So here uh, we have planted Georgia 06G variety and we are looking at here about 130 days peanut right now and basically, uh, basically we'll be digging this peanut uh, probably next week or, or maybe in two weeks. So we are almost at the harvest, harvest time right now. Uh, so Georgia 06G variety, single row spacing. Our plot is four rows wide, uh, uh, which is 12 feet wide, but we applied treatments in 10 feet. So we'll be seeing even the border row, one feet uh, uh, on each side of the plots. Okay, so just to make that uh, note here, don't confuse with the weed control in the, in the border border of each plot because we didn't apply herbicide there. Okay, so this is the first plot I would like to show here. So this is a non-treated check or control where we didn't apply any herbicide, no pre-emergence, no early post, no post herbicide. So if we don't apply herbicide, then this is how we are looking at in terms of weeds. We can hardly see any peanut here and probably we won't be able to dig this peanut, this, this plot. So again, here, uh, this field has a long history of weed science research. So we have been keeping this field in, in a, a very uh, huge weed pressure. So we see a lot of weeds if we don't apply any herbicide. And again, this is a perfect scenario that if we don't apply any herbicide, how the plot can look like. I'm sitting here and this is the center of the plot and two sides or two rows on each, each side of the stake are, are our plot. So if we look at this plot, here we applied pre-emergence prowl or our prowl at, at planting uh, at 32 ounce per acre and also on early post emergence or cracking treatment which was about like th three weeks after planting or two weeks after cracking we went and applied gramoxone storm and dual so gramoxone is storm which is a combination of acetylchlorophene and then uh, bentazon so we applied that one and also dual magnum to provide residual control for the cracking. And again, later on, after six weeks, we went with the post application and we applied cadre. Again, we applied dual and then also 2,4-DB. So we applied dual, again, we mix dual to provide residual control. So again, we can see here clearly, this plot looks very clean uh, throughout the season. Up to now, we haven't seen much weeds or, or any weed. So overall, like this program looks very good. Uh, and we can again obviously see here season long weed control. The only weed that with this treatment we kind of see in other, other blocks was like somewhat sickle pod, which uh, was not quite excellent control, which was not like it was about 90% control, but not 95 or 100% control. But overall, for other weed spaces where we have barnet grass, Texas panicum, morning glories. So except sickle part, this treatment provided effective weed control season long. This is our, our next plot. Again, I'm sitting on the, on the one side of the plot here. So we can see the stake. This plot we applied here in this treatment, we applied here prowl again as pre-emergence or uh, at planting. And also we applied early post or cracking treatment, including gramoxone, storm, warrant. So just to make a note about warrant, it's not currently labeled for Florida. It's labeled for Georgia, Alabama, but we don't have label for warrant on peanut for Florida. And uh, we are trying to work on that. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to see that label or, or see warrant being labeled in peanut in Florida. So again, to make a note here, so this treatment provided excellent control of morning glory, uh, or sorry, redweed, barnyard grass, and spiderwort but it kind of failed or struggled to work uh, or provide effective control on sickle pod and also Texas panicum. So this treatment again was weaker uh, about like 5-10% uh, 
uh, overall on sequel part and tropical uh, sequel part and Texas panicum control. So now moving to the next plot here. So in this plot, our treatment was again pre-emergence prowl and also early post-treatment or cracking treatment with gramoxone, storm and then GDUA. So we use GDUA uh, uh, in, in the mixture uh, which was the different than other two. Uh, other two treatments I showed earlier. And on the post, we applied again CADRE, CADRE and then GDUA and then 24DB. So again, if we look at this plot here, we can see some sickle pod and, uh, and also some morning glories towards the back and, and some, some of the uh, Texas panicum. So again, this treatment provided good control of redweed, barnet grass, and also spider wort, but it failed, or at least we didn't see the level of control, uh, the effective level of control that we saw from the du uh, having dual in the tank mix with Jidua. So we can see some of the sickle part is still growing through the plot. So now moving to the next plot here. So this is 105, so our treatment here are again prowl pre-applied, pre-emergence applied and our cracking treatment was gramoxone, storm and also anthemplex and on the post we applied cadre, anthem, anthemplex and 24db. So anthemplex is, is recently labeled in peanut. So it, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's not a new chemistry, not new mode of action. Uh, so it's a it was labeled in other crop, but recently the FMC has expanded label for this herbicide in peanut. So we are able to use Anthem Plex uh, in peanut. So use rate is about like 2.5 to 3 ounces, um, and uh, it's it's more of a post-emergence uh, <coughs> application in peanut, but it has residual control. So again, for the for the timing, application timing, we have to time anthem plagues from cracking to beginning of pod development. So that's when we are within the label for, for in terms of application. So again, cracking from peanut cracking to beginning of pod development. That's, that's the application timing for anthem plagues. So with the anthem plagues, here if you look at this plot, looks pretty clean. Uh, for uh, all the weights that we have eva evaluated here. So this treatment was one of the best treatment, one of the excellent treatment among, among the other, tr other treatments that we had. So it was, it provided good control of sickle pod, uh, morning glory, redweed, barnet grass, Texas panicum, and also uh, spider wort season long. So we saw about 95% control of each weed species with this plot or with this treatment. So now moving to the next plot here. So 106 in this plot, our treatments were pre-applied prowl and we went ahead with the uh, early post treatment or cracking treatment with gramoxone, storm and outlook. So, and again, we followed with the post application of cadre, anthemplex, and to cadre, uh, sorry, cadre, outlook, and 24db. So again, we we applied outlook in the combination in tank mix, tank mix combination at the early post and also at the post. So we can see the plot here. Uh, so obviously, we saw some we see some Florida beggar weeds uh, coming through the plots later in the season, uh, and also this treatment who didn't provide effective control of overall, this treatment didn't provide effective control of sickle pod and Texas panicum. Uh, but for the other ways, yes, it provided excellent control. But again, if we are looking at sickle pod and tropical uh, and Texas panicum control, then it was ab about 85, 90% per, 90 control, or, or at least the control was less than 90%. So we didn't see about 95 or 98% control here. So now moving to the next plot here, this is 107, 
plot. Uh, so the treatment here is a little bit different in structure because in other treatment, previous treatment, we wanted to see what happens if we have just one pre-emergence product or pre-applied pre herbicide during planting and we apply with early post and also post. Here we applied combination of pre-emergence product during, pl during planting or at planting and also we skipped the early post emergence and we applied only post emergence herbicide. So there's no early post treatment here or cracking treatment here. So our pre-emergence or at planting herbicide combinations were Prowl, Valor and Strong Arm. So those are the uh, primary like three pre-emergence product we can, we can use in peanut. So again, Prowl, Valor and Strong Arm. And later on, we, on the post application, we went with Cadre, 24DB and Dual. So again, if you look at the plot here, we see sickle power coming through and also spider word, Texas panicum uh, and so on. So overall, so this combination failed or at least we didn't see the effective control like in other treatments with this combination for sickle part control, uh, redweed control, Texas panicum control and also spider word. So again, overall having, uh, not having that, that early post treatment or cracking treatment, I think we lost, we lost efficacy because of not having that early post treatment. So now moving to the next plot here. Uh, so again, in terms of our pre-emergence herbicide, we are, we are same throughout the, uh, this last plot, previous plot, this plot, and also uh, uh, next uh, coming plots, which we applied Prowl, Valor, and Strong Arm. Those were our three pre-emergence herbicide, uh, which, apply, which we applied during planting. For the post combination here, we applied Cadre, uh, Warrant, and 24DB. So again, if you look at this uh, post herbicide or uh, 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 this plot here, again we see a lot of sickle pod coming through, uh, and also some Texas panicum uh, coming through. So again, if we talk about the sickle pod or Texas panicum control, again this combination, pro, you know, applying three herbicide at, plan, at planting, and also skipping early post treatment or cracking treatment, and just applying post herbicide may not be a good option because this is what we see. Uh, we won't see the effective uh, control of sickle pod and Texas panicum. So now moving to this, uh, to, the, uh, to another plot or another, another treatment. Again, pre-herbicide, three combinations remains the same. And we applied post-herbicide treatment, which is Cadre, GDUA, and 24DB. So again, overall plot looks fine, but again, if we look at, if we, if we combine with uh, other blocks and overall, if we are looking at the efficacy of this treatment combination, then again, we are not seeing excellent control of sickle pod and tropical uh, and, and Texas panicum. So those were the two weeds that it didn't provide excellent control, but otherwise for other weed, other weed species, yes, it did provide, this treatment did provide excellent control. So now moving to the next plot here. So again, we have three pre-emergence pre herbicide combination in this plot, and we have our uh, post application. So we skipped early post, or we didn't apply any early, or early post or cracking treatment. But for the post application, we have Cadre, Anthemplex, and 24DB. So again, if we skipped the early post, treatment. Again, we see here a lot of sickle pod coming through, tropical uh, spider wart and also Texas panicum coming through. Again, the similar treatment which I showed earlier with Anthemplex provided excellent control when we had it in the, in the early post or cracking treatment. But w if, we if we just skip that car cracking treatment and if we applied only in the post, then again, we'll be compromising with control. So we won't be seeing the seeing the effective weed control that we saw with having combination or, or herbicide application at early post treatment or cracking treatment because it clear, clearly shows that there are a lot of weeds in this plot compared to, uh, compared to the previous plot.
So now we are to the last treatment here. So this plot has combination of, okay, again, pre-herbicides, three pre-herbicides. Uh, and also for the post application, we have cadre, outlook and 24db. So with this combination, again, we saw good control or excellent control of redweed, morning glory, barnard grass, but for other ways like sickle pod, uh, Texas panicum and tro tropical spider wart, we didn't see effective control on, on, on this uh, treatment. Uh, again, we didn't have early post or cracking treatment uh, in this plot. So again, we, we, we fail to see season long effective weed control, just having pre-emergence herbicide program and post herbicide emergence program. To make a conclusion with, with all these 11 treatments here, uh, if we don't have early post treatment or if we are missing early post treatment, then we, there is a likely chance that we'll be compromising weed control e efficacy. So having that early post treatment will help in several ways. It will help to control the weeds that are, are starting to break through uh, after our, we apply residual herbicide or, or pre-emergence herbicide during planting. And also it will provide residual herbicide if we, if we mix dual outlook, anthemplex or GDR or something, some, some product, group 15 product. So it will help to provide residual control. And once we come back with the post herbicide application, post herbicide program, then those herbicide will have easier time to, to kill the buoys that are coming later in the season. So again, overall weed control pro program, we should be looking into pre-emergence herbicide program uh, or applying herbicide program, herbicides during planting and also early post or cracking treatment and post program, post herbicide application for over, overall season long weed control. And if we are really concerned about the crop injury, because I know a lot of growers are concerned about crop injury or peanut injury because of gramoxone, uh, applying gramoxone during, during early, uh, early treatment, or early, early post treatment or cracking stage. But there are various research, there are, are numerous data that shows that applying gramoxone up to about like 21 days after cracking doesn't hurt, doesn't hurt yield. Yes, it will show the crop injury earlier in the, in the weeks, but eventually peanut has the capacity to regrow, to recover that injury and it doesn't impact yield. So again, when we have sickle pod, tropical spider wart, uh, and also Texas panicum, those type of problematic weeds, which we do in Florida panhandle, then my recommend, recommendation is to, uh, to apply early post treatment, uh, including gramoxone and dual or anthemplex or, or, or other herbicide product. So thank you all for watching this video. And also thank you Navjot for all the work you, uh, you have done uh, for this trial. So yeah, uh, again, uh, thank you all. Uh, and also if you have any question, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm located here at J Research Center uh, and I'm Pratap Devkota. And also you can contact your county agent and also they can provide you information on the weed control program. So thank you all.